We're at the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant on this edition of Water Wednesdays to talk about some major upgrades and enhancements through a number of projects expected to be done between 2024 and 2027 to give us an update on what is happening with this one where we have some friends, some partners touring the facility with us today is Shelly Paris. She is the project manager in the project management office of the Barbados Water Authority. Shelly, always good to talk to you. Talk to me about today's tour. What are we looking at? And talk about these upgrades. So this upgrade that we're doing forms a part of a larger program under the Roof to Reef program. We're looking at water scarcity, addressing water scarcity from a standpoint of treating one of our resources that people don't typically look at, which is wastewater. So rather than what our former processes looked at, our current, sorry, um, where we treat the wastewater to the international standard and discharge it to the sea, yes, increasing or say improving the marine environment, we're looking at recapturing that and making that a part of the entire cycle now and making it available for not only aquifer recharge, but to bring about the food and water nexus where we make it available for agricultural farmers as well. The Barbados Water Authority under this project is partnering with the five C's, the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, along with Dalum, a German-based contracted firm with close to 100 years experience in the field, and a local engineering and environmental company called TSC. The Dalum lead in charge of design gives an outline of the project. We started early uh, March. It starts now with a design phase that will take the whole year until, let's say, Christmas, December 2024. After that, we have a tender phase or tendering, contracting and contract awards until to mid of next year. That is then followed by a um, construction phase for one and a half year, 18 months. And after that, we have a defects notification period. So by end of 2027, it is. The project will be not only handed over, but also the de uh, defects liability period will be completed and the project is then finished. The aim here is quite good because we'll be treating the water to a level where it can be extracted and used hopefully for agriculture irrigation, which is of course a benefit to Barbados. We are a water scarce nation and so however we can reuse our water, the better. The importance of having an international company working with a local company is to provide that local context um, to the international firm so that they understand um, what is happening here in Barbados. It is, it is important to ensure that these international companies have the national context to, under, to underscore what we, um, through the BWA, of course, will require from the government of Barbados. Why is it so important that we make this move really to enhance what is being done by this treatment plant to a tertiary level? Okay, so when we talk about sustainable development, and we know that Barbados is within the um, top 15 most water scarce countries in the world, um, we have to think about you know, where our water resources are going to come from in the future, and how can we augment um, the water supply that we have here. So by taking the treatment process from a secondary treatment process to a tertiary treatment process, there we have the ability now to replenish the aquifers in the area and also to use it for non-portable purposes, let's say for example for agriculture and irrigation um, purposes. I would like to thank you for coming and sharing all that is associated with the upgrades here at the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant and thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesdays. We will keep you informed right here for sure. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. You can go to our socials on Facebook and Instagram for additional details and content. And please subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there.